Lego, they make so many amazing pieces, but sometimes they make terrible pieces. I'm Brick Building Machine, and I'm going to be showing you today the top five worst Lego pieces that have ever been made. And coming in at number five, we have this red minifigure hat. It's pretty bad piece can't really be used for anything any genre uh, it's a quick way to make a Lego minifigure look bad and um, I also have a few pictures of it on screen here of what it was supposed to be and what sets it was in and we see here it was still terrible back then coming in at number four we have the Star Wars planet pieces now they are pretty cool pieces I would have to admit but other than being planets um, that's basically all they can be, so that's why they're number four. I have seen a few people use them, that's why they're not higher up, but um, they still are number four because they're pretty useless pieces. And at number three, we have these slant pieces with faces on them. I just grouped these together, um, but yeah, these are just terrible pieces, never could be used for anything. I've never seen anybody able to use these pieces in anything, so that's just how bad of a piece says they are. And that's why they're number three. The only reason they aren't higher is because of how bad the next two are. And coming in at number two, we have Qui-Gon Jinn's hair. It's just that bad of a piece. I just have it on a president business figure. Just to show you guys how it can just ruin any figure you put it on. Um, I mean, the style of the hair looks bad. But then um, to top it off, you see the um, bottom of each side's. Um, they don't really stick onto the minifigure head, and then also the ponytail on the back um, just has that gap there between the back and the ponytail. It's just a terrible piece overall, um, and the only reason it's not higher is because the next piece is just that bad. And coming in at number one, so the worst piece of all time has to be Doc Ock's hair. Now, um, I know you, a lot of you might not agree with this, but in my opinion, it just has to be Doc Ock's hair. It's just that bad of a piece. It's just the quickest way to make a minifigure look bad, and that is why it's number one. I'll show a few pictures up on screen of the um, hair in just a second. And as we see here on screen, this minifigure hair makes anybody look bad. Um, from Doc Ock to any custom figure you make, it's a quick way to make a Lego minifigure look bad. And that is why it's number one on the top five worst Lego pieces of all time. And that is going to wrap up the video of the worst five Lego pieces of all time. If you guys think that I missed something, if you don't agree with my opinion, leave it all down below in the comments. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I've started this new channel. Uh, series of top five so let me know how you guys like it and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.